The Page Setup panel helps you communicate key settings to your Silhouette machine, like your document size, whether you're using a cutting mat, and how you're feeding your material. You can find the Page Setup panel right here on the right-hand side of the software. In Silhouette Studio 5, once you open the Page Setup panel, you'll see a button at the top of the panel labeled Page Setup Guide. If you're a beginner or just getting started, this walkthrough will help. Clicking it will open a pop-up that asks what machine you're using, how you're feeding your material. If you select manual feed, whether you're using a cutting mat and the size of your media. Once you've answered these, you're good to go. These questions correspond to these fields in the panel. Machine, feed type, cutting mat, and media size. Machine selection lets you choose the silhouette machine you're using. This helps Silhouette Studio understand your media size limits and compatible accessories. If you're using a machine older than the Cameo 3, Portrait 3, or Curio 2, select from the Legacy section. Otherwise, pick from the standard list above. Feed type determines how your material is being loaded, either manual feed or through an auto sheet feeder. If you're using the Curio 2, this will appear as tray, with options like the electrostatic mat or the debris tray. Cutting mat shows available mat sizes for your selected machine. This section is important. Choose the correct mat or select no mat depending on your material. For example, you won't need a mat for materials with a backing, like vinyl or heat transfer. Media size gives you preset options, or you can enter custom dimensions using the height and width fields. You can technically set a page size larger than your actual material, but be sure to place your designs within the area your material covers. The machine won't check if there's actually anything there to cut. Constrain media to cutting mat, when enabled, limits the page size to what your mat and machine support. If unchecked, you can make your page as large as you want, but keep in mind, only what's inside the red cut border will actually cut. For non-square media sizes, you can switch between portrait and landscape orientation. Transparency reveals the virtual mat's grid underneath the page, handy for precise design placement. You can also change your page color if you'd like a clearer view of your layout. This won't affect how your design prints or cuts. It's purely visual. Rotate view lets you rotate your view of the page. This can be helpful when working in other panels. Just be sure to watch the direction of the black arrow or the orientation of your virtual ES mat or Curio 2 to load materials correctly. And finally, right next to the Page Setup tab, you'll find the grid settings, which we'll cover in another video. That's everything you need to know about the Page Setup panel. Thanks for watching and happy designing.